Hi everybody, today I want to make a quick video about a nice circuit that I discovered. So in my redstone career, I occasionally needed a 5 redstone tick pulse. And the yeah, common alternatives to do that aren't really that nice, because you always need at least um, two repeaters and yeah, it requires quite a lot of space. So this would create a 5 redstone tick pulse or 10 game tick pulse, but that's another alternative. And that's another one for comparator. But yeah, those circuits are quite bulky, especially since you always need two repeaters. And yeah, I found out that this circuit here also gives out a 5 redstone tick pulse and it's actually quite compact. So I yeah, also use Knemon's carpet mod to slow the game down a little bit. So you can see that's in fact a 5 redstone tick pulse. So as you can see, 5 repeaters on one tick are on all the time. So it's a 5 redstone tick pulse. The 5 redstone tick pulse is especially interesting if you're working with double piston extenders because it's the shortest pulse that some yeah, standard designs require to fully extract and reject again. So it is the standard double piston extender design. If you give it a 4 redstone tick pulse, then it would lose the block, could get it back powering it twice. But if you use a 5 redstone tick pulse, then it would work immediately. Same goes for the slime block double extender. If you give it a 4 redstone tick pulse, the blocks are lost. But it works with the 5 redstone tick pulse. So in case it's yeah, not clear how to build this, so you need to power this piston here from somewhere with a short pulse. So you can place the observer in yeah, different spots. You could also use an uh, other more stable concept that gives uh, two a uh, game tick pulse or one redstone tick pulse to power the piston. So this would work as well. Could even get a, a six redstone tick pulse if you power this normal piston just a little bit longer. And yeah, for cross you could also put the torch somewhere else. And in the furnace or as a container block, you just need to put in one item. I am also aware that this is quite a basic circuit. And I'm definitely not the first one to discover it. Of the millions of people that have been playing Minecraft over the years, somebody must have, to have yeah, used it before or knew about it. But it was new for me. Um, in case you knew about this already or you didn't, just let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.